Flat 360s are my favorite trick overall. I love the way you can do all different grabs easily and I love how everyone can do it with their own flair. Good tricks to be able to do before flat 360s are backflips with a grab, 540 with a grab, and carving takeoff. The carving takeoff is good to have because there can be some edge roll depending on how you do it. Before just chucking away on snow, give it a go on trampoline first. Having the control between backflips, side flips, and flat threes before getting on snow is helpful especially if the axis isn't what you were expecting on your first attempts. Finding a jump with a steeper lip will help get it over for your first ones. Maximizing your pop is all about body position over your skis. With a strong pop comes more control. On the in run for your jump, push your shins into the front of your boots and have your arms out in front of you while keeping your shoulders tall. Getting a good takeoff comes down to getting a solid extension off the lip. Push off the jump to extend your knees. That will allow you to drive your hips forward while still getting your pop. At the end of your extension, your hips should open to the direction you want to rotate, just slightly. This can make a small lead change between your skis. Your driving arm should also drop between straight beside you and behind you. Look forward and watch the knuckle well into the air or at least until your feet leave the lip. This helps stay forward in your boots. With a good extension, when you tuck or grab, your rotation should accelerate. You won't see much at that time. Things can get blurry. That may sound scary, but it makes for a more efficient rotation. With a good spot on takeoff, you can see if you will come up short or go too big before you rotate. That leaves tons of time to lay out and slow down or tuck up and speed up. Once you are into the flip, allow your vision to flip over to see the knuckle again. If your takeoff and air went well, the landing should come quite easy. Once you've spotted your landing, you should have a moment to extend your legs to slow the rotation down for a clean landing. Absorb the impact by bending your knees while staying forward in your boots. This tutorial was filmed on Whistler Blackcomb. I'm Dean Burkers from Ski Addiction, helping you ski better.